Today we will be looking at how to install Asherance Call, specifically to play on the SeedSo server, but you could do end of retail with this as well. So, first things first, if you go to the SeedSo Discord, you will see these written instructions for installation. And the first thing we're going to want to do is download and install the copy of Asherance Call with the end of retail data files and the Thwarg launcher. So, all of those links are provided right here on this website. We can go to GDLE, and from here we can download the installer. We can download the client and dat files, and we need to replace whatever's in the installer with these client and dat files, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so we also want to get the Thwargo launcher, or whatever it's called. right here. We can get it also on this web page. So save that. And <clears throat> then we also need the seed so dat files. We can get those also in that Discord post. So we'll download those. That's the acdats.zip. Okay, one thing we want to do is go into our C drive, our main hard drive, whatever it is. We want to make a new folder, call it whatever, you know. I'm going to call this one games. And the reason is we're going to need two different installs. We're going to copy this install over shortly so that we can make it for seed sow. And then you can have an end of retail installation and the seed sow, I guess. I think you also need it for decal, but I'm not sure. I don't use decal. So these are all downloaded, right? We're all good to go. So at this point, we want to carry on with the installation process. It says make sure that the install is 571 megabytes. So we're going to check the properties of this file real quick. Make sure it is 571 megabytes. Let's see. Properties. There. 571. Okay. So it's good to go. Let's install this program now. It doesn't take long. Okay. We're installed. Here you can see it's in turbine slash Asheron's call. Just remember that. So now it's done, or I'm sorry, now it's installing. So we're gonna get rid of that shortcut. We're gonna not going to need that. We're gonna be using the launcher. Okay, so go ahead and get rid of it. Don't let it confuse you or befuddle you. Okay, so that's done. Moving on, let's go into the C drive here. Okay, so First thing, we want to replace the client and dat files with the ones we downloaded from here, from the GDLE website. So let's do that real quick. So let's unzip those. Sorry, I'm still not used to Windows 11. So we extract all of these. Then we want to go to the install, which is turbine slash asheron's call. And then once these are extracted, we're just going to copy over the three files in question. We're not on a Mac, so we don't need the Mac file. So we're just going to copy over the AC client, the client cell one, and client portal.dat file, as it lists right here. So we want all three of those, and they're going here, and they're going to replace whatever is in there. Boom, that's done. Okay, so that step is complete that in mind we can get rid of what we extracted that's all done don't you know we don't need it to muddy our water okay so now we're moving on to the seed so portion we're going to duplicate this whole folder right here from turbine slash asherance call we're going to copy the asherance call folder and then we're going to go back to the c drive whatever drive in our new folder games whatever we made and we're going to paste it into this okay so that's our second install and then what we are going to want to do is extract the other dats that we downloaded, the seed so dats, basically the dark majesty dats and client. 
So those will extract, and then we're going to do the same process. It's the same process that we just did for the other dats, except they're going into this new copy file, or new copy folder rather. So here we go. Here's our files. We'll take all three of those, and we're going to put them into our new Ashran's call folder here, and we're going to replace what's in there. So that's that, and then we'll get rid of this. We don't need it. We don't need that. The final thing is the Thwarg launcher. Let's get that installed. This goes pretty quickly. There's not much to it. We accept agreement. Okay, install. Do you want to launch? Okay, we can do that. Get rid of the installers. We don't need those. All we need in the end is going to be the Thwarg launcher shortcut. And so this is, uh, we don't need this right now, but it's an information for you. So when you first boot it up, you will be given this server box. So you can choose whichever server you want. In this case, I'm going for Seedso, as I mentioned, um, because that's the special install I just made, the second one. So I'm adding that server. Then right here, we want to enter our account name. These servers are auto account generators. So you just enter whatever account name and password you want. And as long as it's not taken, you will be able to log in. So we're going to make a new player account test and just whatever password. And then you need to change the directory. Right now it's set to the turbine install, but we're going to play seed so. So we need to go to our second install and come over here and then point it to that client, right? Slash game slash Asheron's call slash client. Then we can launch. Oh, OK. Um, you need to double click the server, I guess, and then you can launch. And this is a fresh install. I've never played Asheron's Call on this computer. So here we are. We've got it booting up on us. Sometimes you might want to get out of full screen. Occasionally there are crashes. But I should be able to make a brand new character. Just real quick, whatever random character, just to kind of get into the game. So you can see some gameplay and how well it runs. So just testing. OK, finish, and we'll spawn. OK, it does this sometimes. It This happens even later on. Sometimes you'll get this error when logging in or whatever. Just close it out, relaunch the game. It's perfectly normal. I'm kind of glad it happened so that you could just see that it's a normal error. So let's log right back in. There we go. We're in the game. No problems whatsoever. Runs very smoothly. Um, in addition to this, you can uh, you can change your resolution and things like that. There's a lot of features here. So right now it's running at the default resolution, but we can go change that. Um, a lot of options in here. You can change view distance and things, but here we can take it up to uh, whatever it is, 1080, I don't know. So you can take it up to, I do 2K on my other monitor. So it just depends, it's up to you. But you can get this running in less than 10 minutes pretty easily as long as you have a decent internet speed and join us on Seedso or some other server. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or drop a comment below if you have a question. As always, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy Asheron's Call, feel free to check out some of these other videos that I've done on Asheron's Call Lore. The first major update, Sudden Season, and the second major update, Dark Thaw. Until next time, and hope you enjoyed the video.